Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are currently at a month and a half out of Mr. Olympia. And these two guys, William Bonek and Roy Winkler, are training together. And that's amazing, really. I'm sure you've already seen this photo, but now we have some footage, a video of them training, so we can check out their physiques in a footage, in a video. And I just want to say it's really amazing that we have top Mr. Olympia competitors training together. So these two guys, William Bonek and Roy Winkler, are gonna make your top three, along with Brandon Curry, who's probably gonna win the show. But these two guys may very well be top two. Maybe Brandon Curry will be third spot. I mean, that's not 100% certain at this point. Based on previous performance, it seems like that's gonna be our top three. So we're not even sure about that. I mean, these guys can be out of top three, for all I know. Maybe some guys like Luke Sando can come much better than we ever seen them and beat them, but no, no, I don't think that's gonna happen, not this year. This will probably be your top three, and we'll see who beats who here, but these guys are gonna battle each other on that day, and they are actually, you know, training together, having fun together, being friends. It's not like Phil Heath and Kai Green, for example. Those guys would never train together, not this close to the show. Same thing is with Ronnie and Jay, or for example, Arnold and Luferigno, because they were playing a lot of mind games, so they wouldn't risk anything. For example, imagine Dorian training with Sean Ray prior to Mr. Olympia. That, that would never happen. That would never happen, I can tell you that much. No way. And imagine this. So top two, top three competitors are training together. Why is that? How can you explain that? Are these guys not playing any mind games? Or is one of them actually trying to trick the other one? Do you think these guys are capable of that? <laughs> Whatever you think, comment below, tell me what you think. Do you think that's the case, maybe? Anyways, let me play this video of them training together. The video is not particularly long, so I'm gonna play a slow motion and you guys can listen to me a little bit longer. So, as you can see, these guys are huge, both of them. They are freaking big. And uh, that's not something unexpected. We pretty much knew that these guys will come huge. And I'm sure that Bonek will be spot on as far as conditioning. Roly is a little bit of a wild card. Sometimes he comes good, sometimes he comes a little bit off. But basically, Roly is not known for having great conditioning. I mean, his playing card is size, you know, mass. Not super crazy crisp conditioning, right? So, if he comes the way he was in 2018, he's gonna be a serious contender for that title. I'm sure Brandon Curry, no matter how good he is right now, and how good he's gonna look at the Mr. Olympia, will have to fight for that title against Roly. But as far as William Bonek, I don't know, man. I mean, at this Arnold Classic 2019, he was spot on. He was perfect. That's all. That, that's like the best William Bonek. I mean, there is no room for more muscle on his frame. And he was conditioned. And he lost against Brandon, but Brandon is coming back better now. He's coming bigger, he can grow his legs, there is no more room on, on Bonac to grow. It's just a matter of conditioning when it comes to Bonac. He can come just a little bit sharper, or a little bit fuller, or whatever. He cannot really grow any muscle in that frame, I mean, he doesn't lack anything. He just lacks a little bit better structure. And that is why he cannot beat Brandon, because of the structure. Brandon Curry simply has superior structure. William gave his best shot at this 2019 Arnold Classic against Brandon Curry, who was also on. And he lost. Brandon won. Now, at the Mr. Olympia, Brandon is the guy that everybody thinks he's gonna win. So he needs to come super good, super good, another level. So he's gonna push the envelope a little bit harder. But, you know, Rolly Winkler, he was third at the Mr. Olympia 2019. He beat all of these guys. He can beat them again. So, I think Roly has better chances, but the chance of him peaking perfectly is smaller than Bonac's chance. So, once again, if Roly comes better than ever, or at least as good as 2018 Mr. Olympia, he has a fighting chance for that sandal. If he doesn't come perfect, William Bonac has the chance to be second place, but probably not to win the show. And Brandon Curry is the favorite to win it. Unless Harry Chopin shows up. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. I am posting videos every single day, boys. I never skip upload days. <laughs> Literally. And in about 12 hours, I'm gonna upload Tampa Pro Preview. So, 
subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that one. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. All the best. Bye-bye.